let the attack of the awesome begin. Hello and welcome to Attack of the Awesome. This is the 19th episode of the podcast. We are recording on the 29th of January and I would like to say that it is also one of our co-hosts' birthday. Also, so the Rosen Hacker's birthday is today. So he turned 18. Woo! Yay! Yay! Legal, ladies. Legal. Or guys. Everyone go buy him something illegal. You can I can vote by a gun. I will shoot a ballot. <laughs> yeah, so we're celebrating the Rosenhacker's birthday today on the episode, as well as doing a regular episode. Uh, yes. And I believe, that, speaking of birthdays, I believe um, it's also Robert Millian's birthday, too. Yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. Right. That's what he's older than me. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> I'll send you a virtual <laughs> cake and shove it through my disk drive. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work so well, my friend. I said I'll send you a virtual cake and shove it through my disk drive. <laughs> I Yay. one of my friends was sick and I couldn't I couldn't make it over, so I sent him a picture of chicken noodle soup, and I was like, sorry, it's just a picture. It wouldn't fit through my phone, but now my phone smells like chicken. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad. Thing. <laughs> anyway, phones so they take they taste just like chicken. Anyway, I know, man. It's hard to get those noodles through the little hole. <laughs> Takes oh. forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I can't stop laughing. Anyways, I am your host, Dicky Nuts, and along with me <laughs> are my co-hosts, uh, Gomer, also known as Lex Jiggler. <laughs> Lex Jiggler. Oh you better explain yeah. This. People are gonna be like, what? <laughs> All right, and uh, other co-hosts include Pugsley, hello, and of course Rosen. Woo! Yes. All right, let's just and our special special guest <laughs> of awesome, first guest, of, <laughs> the first guest of awesome on the podcast ever is Jillian Zorowski. Hello. Yes. Well, we... If you didn't like me, suck it. I'm back. Yeah, she's back. <laughs> yes, she's back. And I'm she's back. she's essentially doing um basically what happens on my show, except without the interview at the end. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So it's like so you guys so everybody who listens to this show and has not listened to my show, think you know, this is like you know, if you like this, go listen to my show too. Sorry, yeah. I had to plug myself. <laughs> plug <laughs> well, no, you gotta you gotta tell them where they can listen to your show, because they'll be like, Where oh, yes. is it? Yes. You can find you can find my show and shows yeah, you can find radios right right as well as game rockets, omegas, and a few other what? <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, you got it. You got to get into the habit when you plug it. You got to tell them where they could go to view it. Yes, yes, I do. Need to. I will get there. I will get there. You can find my videos as well as a bunch <laughs> of others at at rtgomer.wordpress.com. And as a special bonus for those who are actually listening to us live, I'm actually going to put it in the chat. Oh, did it. Yeah, I was going to say do that, and we can, like, post it in junk. Cha-ching. Yes, and it should be going into the chat. Am I even logged into the chat? <laughs> yeah, that, that's really I gotta, like, log into, into my... Didn't even go in. <laughs> gotta log oh, in. Didn't even yeah. go through. Holy shit. Okay, there it goes. All right. Anyways. Uh, I've got to log into Facebook and Twitter. God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's hop How in. How dare you? Okay. I'm going to keep these things in order, so the first segment that we go into is what we call Around the Web, where we talk about what we have seen around the web, whether it's a video, a picture, even a weird news article. So, who would like to mention what they've seen around the web first? Uh, I would like to see what I'd like to go. All right, birthday boy, let's go. I'd like to <laughs> All right, so I have a second title card artist now. Yes. Sweet. And he has a DVD page. And... Ah, promoting the uh, yep, title that's... card artist. Interesting. <laughs> Who is next to to provide what they want? Uh, have they seen around the web? You could uh, just pop me, out I'm the chat. Actually... Yeah. Yes. Anyways, who's uh, as far as 
things seen around the web. I've uh, been on the road most of the week, so I haven't seen too awful much outside of most uh, mostly video stuff that I get to try and catch up on on the weekend. Um, I would say, actually, and this is actually going to start going up on the site uh, this coming week, uh, SpazFox, one of my contributors, has been doing a uh, Let's Play series called Let's Get Pissed and Play Mist. <laughs> and he is up on Part 9 right now on YouTube, but Part 1 is going to start going up on my site uh, come uh, Monday, I believe. This is what I've got it scheduled for. So. Uh, cool. Yeah, so if you have an hour, hour to kill, you know, if you have an hour to kill, go watch one. If you have nine hours to kill, go watch them all. Because <laughs> uh, apparently when he gets pissed and he get plays missed, he lasts a while. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Uh, Let's still go check him out. Give him uh, some love. Yes. Uh, Pugsy, would you like to share yours or should I go? Um, I'll go. Okay. We can talk about videos that we've seen on the internet, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, I saw this a while ago, but I forgot it, and I found it again recently. It was the Piano Man Mad Lib that Brenna Boss did, and it is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. One of the funniest things. Done. Uh, there you go. There we go. Well, I'm saving the last, I'm the last one, of course. Uh, the, la the thing I found... Uh, <laughs> the the I don't get to go! <laughs> Uh, do you have something that you've seen around the web, Jillian? No, I don't surf the web at all. It scares me. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I was Did telling you guys. You guys <laughs> I don't look at the internet. Yeah, that, that, it's a scary place. No, well, like I was telling you guys, like, prior to recording, the Harry Potter 2020 from SNL is hilarious if you like Harry Potter. And also, if you search, I think it's on YouTube, but it's like some... Punk something, I forget the name of the video, and I'm sorry, I didn't know we were doing this. They have two Legend of Zelda ones that are hilarious. One is, uh, I think it's like called Zelda's Boyfriend, and it's like the original Zelda, and Link saves Zelda, and then her boyfriend comes, and then they like chat and stuff. And then there's another one with uh, Fee from Skyward Sword playing on the whole, like, Master, 80% probability, blah, 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 blah. And she's just like going through everything he's doing, and he's like, yeah, I know, I got it, and getting all pissed off, and... If you've played Skyward Sword, you know it's annoying, and it's pretty goddamn funny. <laughs> All right, cool. I, hey. guess, I guess I'm going last, of course. So uh, I'm a big fan of Death Punk, and this guy took five floppy disks drives, and he composed the derezzed song from uh, Tron Legacy on the five Ooh. floppy drives. And it, it is amazing, because the floppy yeah. drives are, have a unique sound, and it kind of mimics the Daft Punk song, in a way. segment. Next, we're going to the se segment of Attack of the News, where we talk about the news in the fields of movies, video games, music, 
and the newly added news from the blog known as Topless Robot. Nah, that, hey. that, that's great. You gotta have like the little do 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 do. All right, who who wants to start it off? Video games, music, movies, Topless Robot. Anybody? Uh, actually, I'll I'll start it off. Because I actually – I've been holding on to this one for a little bit. Um, I was debating whether to put it in this show or my show, but considering it does have to do with video games, and mine is – actually, it, it can actually go on either one. And when you actually – when I actually read it, because I actually wrote down notes and actually typed out exactly what I want to say and how I want to say it for this one, something that I don't normally do for my stuff as far as like podcasts go. But this one I had to do just, – it's just, just listen. <clears throat> I found a couple of blogs that link to a forum thread on a site called Men Go Their Own Way. It's a men's rights advocate site. Yes, I can already hear the groans. The thread is titled, What the Fuck is with Empowered Women in Video Games Now? That sounds, my friends, is the sign of a can of worms being opened. When I first... Wait, wait, wait I have thread, a question. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt you. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt okay. you. What do they mean, like, empowered women with video games now? Um, like what? What is that? I, I believe I, I believe I go on all about this. I, oh, I do I'm sorry. Do highlights as well. <laughs> it's okay. okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's a perfectly valid question. I didn't know. Um, it's okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. Nobody else knew either. So, all right. Um, anyways, a few highlights from this thread, which at the time that I put this together, had, there were at least 49 posts and 144 likes. Uh, a few highlights include quote, and this is a big one. Now, I am no hardcore gamer, but I do play computer games often, and the recent one I have been playing recently, wow, redundancy, is Shogun 2 Total War. Now, for those who don't know what this game is, it is a strategy game based on the military of feudal Japan. I recently bought an upgrade for the game the other day, and guess what, what, one, guess what one of the strongest military units was? Nuns. I shit you not, the nuns had an attack of 20 to 40% higher than most units in the game. Somehow I doubt that in real life a nun would swing a sword or use a spear faster and harder than a feudal warlord, and this game was based on history. I think I have the right to ask Steam and other gaming companies, what the fuck is with subliminal brainwashing? How he made that leap in logic, I don't know. Sorry, that was just my commentary. <laughs> uh, what, na what now when I buy or play a game, women will be doing all the ass-kicking? I've seen some similar patterns on game advertisements on television and the internet recently, and I can't speak well, and want to know if anyone else is seeing the pattern. I call bullshit on this subject. Video games are the last place for guys to hang out, and now women are taking over. Why not just save us the trouble, and instead of eliminating our fantasy world, just throw us in work camp to provide for their bastard children, literally speaking. Yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, my God! <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you're, fe you, yeah, you're feeling what I'm feeling right now. Yes, yes, you are feeling this. Uh, and because of how long I'm going to read, well, I'm not even going to worry about the other excerpts. I think that one speaks for itself. And I've been be playing fair, video games since I was like four or five. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> God, not you. But <laughs> like that. Exactly. Now, now, to you got fair, it. Wrote the article. The entire, like, but these were enough to spark some discussion here. Personally, I look at characterization like this. You're a strong character. Oh, you happen to be female. Okay, let's go. Sure, I like to look at a nice set of tits, but tits alone don't hold me. You need substance. You need to make your female character compelling. And if that makes these men's rights advocates so insecure that they have to whine to video game companies, then perhaps they are the ones who need to develop a masculine identity. <sighs> Sam has kicked ass in uh, Metroid for Nintendo, so fuck you all. It's been around Thank ever. you. <laughs> well, except, Thank like, you. the new one, they made her all, like, whiny diary, so I didn't like the new one, or, like, the one, you know, that was released, but, yeah, I mean, you look at a fucking, like, DOA and shit, it's like, the women kick ass, and, like, Charlie and Street Fighter, and just saying that women can't kick ass, it's like, have you ever seen a Krav Maga, uh, Krav, bleh, bleh, you know, like, martial arts class, like, women can kick ass, um, and something like s strong women in video games has... You know, like I said, been around since Nintendo, and it's not that every video game does that. It's just something, and I know guys, like, uh, my buddy will go through the Resident Evil playing uh, What's-Her-Face the Girl because it's just, you know, it, it's different, and they have different abilities, but, you know, I have no problem playing a dude in a video game. I mean, if there's a girl character, if she's good, I'll play her. 
but some of them, like, uh, Dynasty Warriors, you've got some awesome girl characters and some of them suck ass. So, but I don't have any yeah. problem either way, but saying that this whole, like, women want, wanting... Uh-oh. Games comment, it's, it's like... Yeah. Hello? Oh, oh. Hello? Can yeah, I get out? Yeah, okay, yeah. There you go. Hello? Yeah, there was a little yeah, bit there. That was my bad. <laughs> my bad. Sorry, my internet's kicking <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, no. But, yes. But, yes. Um, yeah, and there's Lady Gamer in the chat asked, what about the Tomb Raider series? Yeah, there is that. Lara Croft, you know? She's like a female okay, no. James. I actually have... I, 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 I've never played them either, never really watched the movies, but from my understanding, she's like a female Indiana Jones or James Bond or something, I think. If yeah, I'm, I'm making the right like it. More so like Indiana Jones type thing, um, but she she uses like guns and stuff like that. It's just kind of like basic yeah. adventure. Like, I never got in the Tomb Raider games, but, and I cracked the sun. I, mean, I agree, the nuns thing is just ridiculous, but just saying that, you know, women don't belong in video games and that, you know, this has been like a guy thing playing video games is fucking no, utter bullshit. I've, I've been playing it Atari since I was like four or five, and the, I doubt this person Same is here. even as old as me, so fuck you, you're copying me. Uh, <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's like, okay, you know, when, when I was when I was a kid, you know, I usually would, I was the big gamer in my family, and if a your little girl wanted to come over and play a video game with me, I'd say, okay, let's play a two-player game, or we could take turns or something. It wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'd probably be delighted. <laughs> uh, right. In fact, my roommate, my roommate, Lady Renee, she she will sit there for hours in front of that damn Xbox, playing <laughs> like yeah. I think she's playing Dragon Age right now. So it's mm. like, yeah, saying that women have no place in video games, yeah. To, to the, the, I think the one I, the big quote I had was the original post. Uh, to the original poster and everybody that supports him, fuck. Yeah. Well, I remember with, with people being, some people, <laughs> I remember some people being pissed that, like, Samus was a girl in, in Metroid. It's like, dude, whatever. I thought that was cool. It's like, I didn't even know it was a girl till you know, obviously I got done playing it because I played it when it was, like, first out. Um, but I, I just think that's ridiculous. It's like, who cares if the game plays good and you've got a girl character? It's like the same people that complain about quote unquote, like girly games. Um, or like some people like beautiful Katamari, things like that. It's like, I know dudes who play those too. It's like, I'm not into some of the girly games. It just really depends. Um, but that's like complaining that they make kids games really. It's like, I mean, I, I know. I'll bust out Resident Evil, Silent Hill, things like that. I, they're fun. Yeah. A game is a game. If it's a good game, I will play it. And that's mm -hmm. the way everybody should be. Yeah. Well, and even on the other so. side of that, um, with the, sorry, even on the other side of that with the Silent Hill movie when they changed, you know, the, the character to having Rose be as the main, it's like I understood why they did that, but I wish they would have, you know, kept to, to what it was. Um, so, I mean, I, I wasn't, like, mad about it, and I was just like, oh, you know, whatever. So, I mean, girls have an open mind, too. Some Some don't, but... You know, I'm not gonna get pissed about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So that 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 uh, that article is one of the reasons why I, I yeah, yeah. I, I just had to share that because I knew I was gonna spark some discussion. It's like, yeah, that needs to get out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I've actually I've actually got one that's really good, but we're we're talking about it on what the fuck next week. Or this week or whatever, so I don't know if I should uh, like, bring it up, but I doubt everybody uh, in here is what the... F but essentially, it's this girl talking about college isn't really necessary, and she's got all these typos in her thing, and oh, um, I that. Oh, she talks God. about... And, I saw that, and she yeah. talks about... Yeah, she talks about girls um, should get their nails done and stay at home, and the guy should work and everything, and I'm like, I can't believe the school printed this trait. It's like, oh my yeah. God. Uh, and I'm just like, oh, where were the grammar Nazis? Well, no, I mean, there's a difference between, oh, I, I think it. somebody did that just because she's saying college isn't necessary and she can barely write correctly. And I'm not the best at grammar either. And I'll, I'll short type in, you know, Facebook and, 
Twitter and those places I understand like I'll put A L T H O and sometimes people will be like it's A L T H O U G H and it's just like uh, grammar Nazis just kind of annoy me but at the same time people who can't tell the difference between like there and they are when they abbreviate it it's like dude oh, they're that's annoying. like this yeah it's like that's oh. the same letters and you're and you are it's like come on no yeah, it's it's two extra letters type them in people come on <laughs> yeah Glorious. like People the only two extra letters. The only time I can see like shortening you and or your and you are with the you know apostrophe R E is if you're tweeting and you don't have enough room. Yeah. That's the only time I'll do that. But like T H E R E T R E T H E I R yeah T H E R E and T H E I R are the exact amount of letters. So you should know the difference and not need to mix those up. And I know. even like every once in a while when yeah. it's uh, you know when I just wake up or if it's really late. And I do, like, mess it up. I'm like, oh, crap. And I will correct myself on that because that's a pet peeve of mine if you can't even tell the difference on that. I'm like, oh, sorry, I meant this. A public, a public, a PSA from Jillian Jones. (laughs) Don't be stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. All right. Uh, Oh, Phil Brain. Oh, he's a grammar. Phil Brain is apparently a uh, grammar pedantic, too. Yeah. So, yay. So, go Phil Brain. Way to go, Phil Brain. Woo! Pedantic. I'll never yeah. call people out on it or anything, but at the same time, my also I just think it's funny when people are like saying you need to be intelligent, blah blah, blah and they misspell intelligent. It's like at least look that <laughs> word up because that's just really funny. Yes. Uh, right there's dictionary.com. Use it. Yes. Use dictionary.com. Well, even, even if you just like type it into Google, like Google will finish Google, it for you and correct up. it. Yeah. But, yeah. So you yes. don't even have to go to dictionary.com. Just open up Google. Start typing it, and 99% of the time it'll correct it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Not that I ever do that, because I know how to spell every word in the English dictionary. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Whatever. My, my motto is not smart, take art, and that's what I did. I have a bachelor's <laughs> in art. Okay. I, I, I suck ass at math. All right, so... Move it along. Who wants to uh, go next? Or should I just go? <laughs> to quote pump up the volume, I can smell a lie like a fart in the car, my dear. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> all the news that, that don't were missed. Yes, okay, yes. go ahead. For one, there's a new, a new trailer for Street Fighter Cross Tekken that everyone hates. And... If you're if you're in the if you're in the uh, stream right now, you'll see why. Omar, you might want to pay attention to this. Uh oh. Let's see. Uh, I I heard that they were putting uh, Pac-Man in one of those. Yes, I just saw Pac-Man. That yep. I heard. Oh God. Meg- oh. The, the original the horrible box art Meg-Man. The original box art. I yep. heard about that one. Oh and that's God. The, that's the thing I was talking about. Yes. Yes, that is a fat Mega Man, based on the box art for the American Mega Man game, the original Mega Man. Oh, did you hear uh, Michael Bay is doing a live-action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? Yeah, he's yeah. producing it. The day Michael Bay announces a Legend of Zelda movie is the day I am no longer on this earth, but I will take him out with me. <laughs> no, the day Michael I Bay announces a Zelda movie is the day everyone riots and sets him on fire. Yeah. Like, like, come on, there's die. bombs in it. <laughs> Blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bomb is not explode the entire world. Just just an enemy that you're throwing it at. And if you're in the way... Starring you... Shia LaBeouf as Link. <laughs> <laughs> I'd laugh. Oh, God. Why? You know that would happen. Yes. You know it. Yes, it would. And in toy news, uh, DC Direct is releasing these amazing uh, Batman Arkham figures. Hmm. When are they releasing them? Because I... Do we get some? Uh, one couple are in June, some are in November, and one's in, one's in September. Oh, speaking of Batman, what do you guys think of like the the revamp on the fucking Harley Quinn costume they did a little while back? For the comics or for the game? Uh, the comics, like where it's all just essentially a corset, half naked with holster. I was pissed because Harley Quinn, not not that it's like sexist or whatever, but Harley. Quinn was sexy in her own right, and they just kind of turned her into a, you know, gen- 
generic slutty Halloween costume? D, in my opinion. Hmm. Yep. I like the design, but I prefer the original. This is coming from a guy who doesn't really pay attention much to comics. It's just... No. Uh, the design is fine, but not for Harley. Not for Harley. You know. I know, it's just like, you know, it'd be cool for like a new character or whatever, but it just completely changed it. It's like you didn't need to. Harley Quinn was just iconic and awesome, and she was one of the, the few characters that was considered sexy by everybody. I mean, all the Halloween costumes and cosplayers, Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, she, she was sexy without needing to show all the skin. Yeah. Like, by guys and girls. Oh, yeah, definitely. And now they're showing off all this skin, and it's like, wow, okay. You know, you'd, you'd, I guess they were thinking, yeah, we'll finally show some skin on Harley Quinn, and every fanboy and fangirl's fantasies will come true. There will be food <laughs> in the skins over this, and now it's like, no. Yeah. And we're like, no, it's you destroyed no. the mystery for us, you jackasses. For you Minecraft players, they are making Le um, Lego and Minecraft are finally combining. Oh wow! Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Have you guys seen Have you guys Lego seen the Zelda mod for for uh, Minecraft? Uh, don't believe I have. That's pretty crazy. That's the only like Zelda I won't play because I can't get into Minecraft because I don't have time, and I'm like, I'm sorry, Zelda, I can't. I can't do it! I can't do it! I'm sorry! Speaking of Lego, the, uh, the Lego Lord of the Rings is looking really, really good. First, I disagree with the Lego series of games, and there's like, oh, Lego's this, Lego's that. No. I, I, no. You, you the the Lego Star Wars that. is pretty fun. Ah, uh, there's so and many fan art. And I'm of everybody's time. Let's move on. <laughs> yes, let's move on. Oh, oh, real quick, real, sorry. Real mm -hmm. quick, on the Minecraft, if you guys, if anybody wants to look it up, somebody recreated, like, a world of uh, Miyazaki, and it took, like, forever. They have, like, a floating Totoro nice. and just Cat Sky. Like, it's just amazing. And it's this whole video of, like, you know, putting through something that somebody created. And I was like... That's insane, because I know to make sky stuff, you have to, like, build it up and erase shit. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Uh, yes. Is that all you got, Rosen? Yep. Thank you. Yes, uh, so, Pugsley or me, who do you want to go first? Um, honey, do you have anything? first. Well, I have something painful. That might hurt people and scare you away from watching the Super Bowl, at least on halftime. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't watch the Super Bowl anyway, um, so... Um, yeah, I know. Here's a reason to just avoid the fuck out of it. Will I Am says, and, and yeah, Will I Am and the rest of the Black Eyed Peas are going to be joining Madonna as well as LMFAO at the halftime show. Yay! Oh my Get god. Oh, oh god. <laughs> they screwed up. Oh, wow. They did well, it again. Also Usher and Slash. Yeah. Again. No, nothing, no, like just out of all out of all the shit, they're just gonna have Slash. Like, oh hey look, here's Slash. And we're all shit, but then here's Slash. Oh, my yeah, God, Slash. Okay, Madonna, Slash. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do a cover of Guns N' Roses while we're at it. <laughs> they're doing they're doing Boy, Slash. Every uh, fan and is now screaming, no! <laughs> it's funny. Cause Billboard.com says it says uh, the last sentence of the first uh, par opening paragraph says, um, Will I Am has taken it upon himself to reveal one of the performance the performers expected to spice up Madonna's upcoming halftime extravaganza extravaganza at the lovable party rockers LMFAO. So much is wrong with that sentence. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, right. oh. I'm wrong. All right, uh, I'm usually going last. Uh, that's good, I guess. Okay, movie news. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, Toy Story writers to write the Farmville movie. Why does this exist? How do you make a Farmville movie? <sighs> I don't know. You don't. I don't know. Oh, it's just, oh, God. It's, it's called Bait. For some reason, I think, 
I want to say I covered this on my show, on the last show before uh, the Christmas break. I think, I don't know, I know I've heard of it. I don't remember if it was with my show or if I just found it independently. But, oh my god, the, the people are just bored. They're just so fucking bored. The first sign I think people were bored was years ago when people in Florida were hanging themselves off of fish hooks. <laughs> yeah. Taking the SpongeBob episode too literally. Exactly. Yeah. It's just... It's just farm yeah, does I, not I, need to be a movie. They're going to use a funny farm pun, aren't they? It doesn't need to be a game. Yeah, I just... Okay, I'll give you that much. <laughs> I mean, I, just, I, I get it so just many requests in... Be. Yeah. I get so many requests in Farmville, and I'm like, I don't even play it. But I, I will admit something on, on the iPhone. They have kind of a fun version, and it's zombie farm or something, where you grow zombies <laughs> and attack people, as <laughs> well as crops. And that is kind of fun. <laughs> Yes. It is. It's, it's really fun. Facebook and it's free. No, it's not Facebook. It's okay. iPhone. No, I, I was saying, I stopped uh, playing I, Facebook games because they decided also... to screw over all their um, customers that can't reg regularly buy millions of dollars in their points or else you can't complete oh. missions. So it's just like, whatever. You're not worth my time anymore. Go away. Stupid games. Yeah. Cafe World's the worst. They were like, oh, you have a week to make a million pancakes and... And hot dogs and fries and other things that take you a week ah, to, to ah. finish making in the first place. It's like, what is wrong with you people? Yeah. I'm not going to buy a million things. It's just... Zombie Farm will do that with brains because brains are a kind of currency as well as coins. And you can buy additional ones because it'll take like 10 brains to get certain things. But you don't have to buy it and you can still get brains on like raids or um, there's like this thing with a wheel where if you like wait a certain amount of days there's different percentages to where you can get a brain so there is ways around it and then if you're just impatient you can buy them yeah yeah and honestly that's the way that it should be yeah you know have it available but if you're impatient buy them yeah they, they don't really do that much in, in cafe or any facebook game. yeah yeah i'm just speechless about that but anyways the next one i have is uh Jennifer Lopez to produce live action Where in the World is Carmen San Diego movie. They did that and as a game show. show. That was a good game show. Good computer game. Great. Well, I understand it was a good from what I understand it was a good um TV, um cartoon series. Or at least the theme yeah. yeah. That's like yeah. making a Where's Waldo movie. movie. It's know. like it's a little late. Ha, ah, you <laughs> Took my bit. The next one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you yeah, took his bit. The cartoon did suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, won't be no surprise. Took <laughs> <laughs> my orb. Took my bit. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Again, it'd be like I said it first. He pays his Yes. Call back. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Well. Interesting enough, I would just. I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, I would picture Jennifer Love, uh, Jennifer Lopez to be in the live action movie instead of producing it, because she would be. Oh, you know, she'll probably cast herself. I mean, that's yeah. that's she what I'm. Would. She probably would, because she. The, I could, the, I could... the one and only Carmen San Diego with the biggest ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where the world is Carmen San Diego's Man, ass? I want to. She'll be like, she's probably sitting around, man, I want to I wanna play Carmen San Diego. I'm just going to make it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And other news. Awesome movie. In other news, MGM acquires Where's Wello rights for a live action film. Yeah. How I mean, are they? How, how are you going to do something? that? Because it's like, is it like to be a first person kind of thing? Like, okay, Waldo, where are you, Waldo? So Maybe it's like Cassie's the hangover, Camp, but with Waldo. Probably. <laughs> just it could be like somebody. a Cassie's Camp style movie where they're just chasing the guy. <laughs> they they should revamp Waldo with a sexy costume credit. like they do everything else. <laughs> He's got body paint stripes instead. Oh God! It's oh gonna God! Be all and Waldo. Uh, now you're making, give them ideas. You're making, giving me ideas for like a Where's Waldo porno now. <laughs> <laughs> Start the fan art, people. Uh, <laughs> it, would, it would have Waldo. to start. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Where's Waldo? Let's see. Tall, skinny, pole guy. Wears glasses. 
Uh, I suppose if you put the glasses on uh, Sad Panda, he could star in it. Because <laughs> he's small and skinny. Just get Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. There you go. Right, there's your casting. He does kind of look like him. Like real life he form. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about that, but yeah, that... Or Elijah Wood. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of Elijah Wood, did you hear that they're remaking Maniac? And that's... he's going to be the main character? <laughs> I'm sorry! Yeah, really. That's for the 20th episode! I'm so sorry! Uh-oh. <laughs> now you spoiled it! I am... Uh, well, we don't have to go into detail, because I know the details, but Brad will talk about it, so... Yes. Stay tuned, it's... Preview. It's a preview for next week. So if you want to hear about that, this is next week. There you go. Yes. Thank That's you. That's how you spin it. Th- thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have ESPN. I'm psychic. <laughs> we know that from two weeks ago in the interview. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was the. You've been attacked by the news. Uh. Yes. You've been attacked by a billion. I stole your shit. <laughs> Way too much. There you go. Yeah, all right. Uh, let me... <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's hop into the weird news. Uh, I'm not going to say any. This is actually a food oh. food edition of weird news. As always. And uh, I found some quite interesting ones. Like, uh, I have a couple that involve chocolate. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Like, if there's any smokers out there. Any smokers? Nobody? I'm smoking right now. I'm more of a hunter. <laughs> I am. I will say I'm switching to those blue cig- electronic cigarettes, um, but I just awesome. have to go and pick them up. Now, so, here's... But my, my buddy Dave has them, and they actually work. Now, here's an alternative yeah. for you. They have chocolate c- crack pipes. Chocolate uh, crack pipes? What? <laughs> okay, but they also have chocolate. they also have chocolate in the cigarettes or the blue cigarettes. Oh really? Cause, so yeah. if you don't want to get pulled over for looking like you're smoking crack, get those. Which you probably am. <laughs> yeah. Crack pipe. Chocolate you're crack okay. pipe. Okay. When you want your crack okay. to taste a little bit more like chocolate. <laughs> so <laughs> so is it like the blue cigarettes but for crack users or how does that work? I mean the the they they're, they're called Cocoa cap inhalers. They are small crack pipes the size of a, of a normal cigarette. They contain a concentrated cocoa powder that can be inhaled for a quick chocolate fix. Oh, so it's like wow. women it's ragging them. It is chocolate. <laughs> it doesn't contain. I'm so not easy. <laughs> that much. It doesn't contain any You're nicotine right. or any other it's substance fresh. found in tobacco cigarettes at all. Uh, no side effects. If you're worried about known yet, <laughs> if you're worried about about getting away, forget about it. According to the manufacturers, the cocoa caps allow you to enjoy the taste of chocolate without putting on the pounds. But you also get addicted to crack. <laughs> yeah, well, you would think also that that would just incur you wanting to have real chocolate because it's not the same. It'd kind of be like having you know low fat what's and what. It's like, man, I want the real thing. Not only that, it looks like yeah. you're smoking crack. Would you want to do that? <laughs> exactly. It's like I'm sorry. Keep now, the Hershey Kiss in your purse. My God. There you go. <laughs> or, uh, or, yeah, I'm just waiting for them. I'm just waiting. They've done this with chocolate. Next thing you know, they're gonna do this with pizza and hamburgers and bacon and and and, <laughs> well, and, and I'm not going on all anymore past that. Well, what? I guess they're trying to go for like the crack skinny model thing without actually doing crack because you'll never have to eat again. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's a crack Don't fight. Don't make me start a uh, Speaking of uh, I, 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 <laughs> the uh, next one, speaking of the chocolate inhaler, there's actually in a chocolate inhaler called Le Whiff. <laughs> Le Whiff? Chocolate perfume? Must be French. Yes, it's an inhaler that you can puff chocolate into your mouth. <laughs> Someone grabs it instead of their asthma inhaler. Crap! Lisa <laughs> got chocolatey goodness, but I can't breathe. <laughs> Uh, uh, they should I make breathe. ice cream ones because ice cream's the worst. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lee Whiff contains chocolate particles big enough not to reach the lungs, but small enough to have no calories at all. 
Why don't uh, they just invent no calorie chocolate? It's hardly dangerous. Uh, what, what if you have giant lungs? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it comes in. It comes in four different flavors: raspberry, mint, mango, and simple chocolate. No, mango. Weird. And then wow. the thing is, too, people get addicted to the, like the hand to mouth movement because that's what a lot of smokers have trouble with quitting is the hand to mouth movement. So this may like incur other yeah. habits. And yeah. Like, oh, Oops. Yeah. They need a fix. <laughs> and uh, the last chocolate-related news I have is uh, some chocolate tasty records. Somebody made records, LPs, out of chocolate. They've done that forever and a half with like CDs and guns and stuff, though. I mean, yeah. this ger- this guy's this German- record sucks. No. <laughs> the this guy from Germany. Uh, made these chocolate records, and you can actually play them on, like, a record player. And then you can eat them if you want. There you go. For those chocolate and music lovers out there. Well, if it's hot in the house, though, it'll, like, melt and destroy your record player. Mm. Um, but yeah. how, do you, how do you embed music onto the chocolate? I didn't even know that'd be possible. You don't. Well, Sounds like yeah. shit from <laughs> South Park to number one hit. <laughs> chocolate salty ball but no the thing is exactly. too with those like when they're like no side effects hey, how many medications how many medications out there where they're like no side effects and then you get those if you have tried blah 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 and incurred this and this and this you may have a law case and it's like blah blah and like all these side effects and you know there's going to be something that comes out there and be like oh you have like chocolate cancer now uh the most delicious it's kind of cancer to have <laughs> I got the DVDs. Know. You'll end up like turning into like chocolate person. Yeah. yeah. I will say this though, if 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 guys' dicks were made of chocolate and came gold coins, guys would get so much more action. <laughs> yes, we and know. And then we are. like yes. again. And then if you're like, you know, at the um you know, you're trying to park or whatever, you don't have money for the for the meter, just like jack off real quick. And then you've got... <laughs> wow. There you go. Uh, speaking of that... In the <laughs> speaking of jacking off. No. Speaking of the similar shape of that, we have the uh, world's largest... Speaking of cocks. <laughs> world's largest... Chocolate dildo. <laughs> the world's largest gummy worm. That, oh, wow. That How looks- big is it? Chocolate dildo. Uh, let's see. The world's largest gummy worm is three pounds and has a five-inch girth. It's oh my! <laughs> Until they make it in an inhaler form, I'm not interested. And it's got <laughs> and it's and the calories is uh, is outrageous. It's got four thousand calories. Jesus! Wow. Well, just eat half one day and half the other, and there's your 2,000 calories. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Yes. For those who want that's to like have... That's some of... Go ahead. I was going to say, that's like those giant, giant, like, hamburger crap things that are, like, 25,000 crazy calories, and people try and eat them. I'm like, you're going to have uh, a fucking heart attack. Peace. You are I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm like, Mr. dude, you have to die. Act- Yeah, that is what I got for the food-related weird news. Yes. Yes. And speaking of food, again, we can go into the top number list. It's also known as the top five ridiculously expensive foods. Mm-hmm. Expensive for your quality. Of I know uh, trouble is. I mean, yeah. the... That ice cream? <laughs> the wor- the most the world's most expensive beer beer that is it's actually one thousand two uh, one thousand one hundred twenty six dollars for a twenty liter bottle of what the hell is it called Bond Skewers? Wow. Damn. 
That's better that taste. From Zeus that better taste like the nectar of the gods, right? There. I mean, you can you can shell out a pint, which is forty bucks of it. But if you want a twelve liter bottle, you have to pay one thousand one hundred twenty six dollars for the bottle. I don't even like beer. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> don't buy it. It's just in a glass. I won't. No, now if they made like some kind of yummy alcoholic beverage and it was like forty bucks, I'll be like, all right, we'll do it for a tries episode, then it's tax deductible. So yay. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'd buy a forty dollar martini if it was like. The best thing I've ever tried in my life. Oh, uh, yeah. Burger King had the most expensive burger at one point. Uh, in the 90s, Burger King had a $200 burger. Nice. $200 for a burger? Yes. It was it, made of Burger King, King no gold? And it was simply called The Burger. It huh. had, uh, let's see, why... Let's see, white truffles on it, ham slices, you got some onion straws, vinegar, lamb lettuce, uh, pink rock salt, white wine and infused mayonnaise in the buns. Oh my god, it's crazy. Ew. Pink wow. rock salt isn't expensive, it's because of the truffles, but who wants to have ham and lamb on their burger? It's like you pick a meat and eat it, otherwise get a hero. <laughs> <laughs> it's essentially oh, a gyro well, with truffles. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's what it is. Let's it's a see. What? A gyro. A gyro. Uh, like the Greek. Or, or gyro if you don't know how it's pronounced. A gyro. Uh. Well, actually, like speaking like of like gyros girl. versus. Speaking of euros versus like pronouncing it gyros, in like, I think it was the first episode of 80s Dan because. Uh, we don't really see the rest of the script. Jake didn't know the context, and it actually is Gyros with Rob the Robot, and he did say Euro, and I'm like, dude. <laughs> you're saying Euro. He's like, I didn't like know. The currency. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, no, Euro's the food. Then we got the $1,000 pizza. God damn. Who's buying these things? I mean, god damn. This Rich assholes. Yeah, rich, hoity toity. <laughs> mm, I like to like, have some pizza. They should at least I'd make it look like the fence of the way. <laughs> I mean, this pizza. <laughs> should... This pizza has caviar, laps, lobster, and chives on it. I've, I've had, had lobster. Lo lo <laughs> See, that's the thing. I've had lobster pizza. At just... I've had lobster pizza at Red Lobster, and it is delicious. And I highly doubt that adding some caviar on it would make it that expensive. I call bullshit on that one. If you're going to charge <laughs> that much for a pizza, make it look expensive and throw, like, some Goldschlager flakes on it or something just so you feel better about it. Ah. Add something expensive on it or speaking, something. Speaking of the gold flakes... <laughs> no, thanks, <laughs> on it. Oh, no. Uh, the next <laughs> item... <laughs> the next item... I'm sorry! Uh, hey, you're, that's a good segue. <laughs> you <laughs> segue okay. to the next Bye. item. Uh... <laughs> The next item, which has gold flakes on it, is the $1,000 bagel. $1,000 for a bagel? Yeah, Somewhere no. Fomi is screaming. It's got white it truffle cream cheese. imaginable. Oh. White truffle cream and cheese. And that is going to stop being funny. And goji berry infused jelly with gold leaves. What? What the that fuck? sounds nasty. Yeah. No, my my stomach is saying no. I've become a big eating bot doctor and say no. Next, hey. they should start making like designer gourmet edible underwear. <laughs> and things. Wow. Hey, that's a good idea. And hey, they charge enough for it as it is. You should at least get gourmet on that shit. And and for dessert, we might as well have the thousand dollar Sunday. Walker off flavored edible badges. <laughs> I mean, we got the premium ice cream with the Tanini vanilla beans and Madagascar vanilla, with the most expensive chocolate, 23 carat edible gold leaf, and more, and a bowl of caviar on top. I, like, seriously, if you're gonna pay that much caviar? for food, what is the appeal of caviar? 
No, caviar is good. I, I mean, just... it is expensive, but it's good. But my thing is, if you're going to spend that like much on food that you're eating, I don't give a shit that it's got 24 carat gold flakes on it that probably don't taste like anything. It's like, give me a fucking lobster dinner with a whole chocolate cake and make it zero <laughs> calories, <laughs> and I'll pay a thousand dollars for it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ah, yes, and that was the top five most expensive foods. <laughs> oh, and boy. now I can just I stop that accent. Mm. <laughs> uh, Maybe. Yeah. I thought I kind of said like Paul's rich character. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. Well, that That's is the good of. I think it was the ghost of useless Chris knowledge past. Well, and I think yes. it's I think it's that time. I think it's that time to end the podcast because it's towards the end now. So you have been attacked by the awesome. Yes. Remember, I'm your host. Yeesh. All right, I'm your host, Dicky Nuts. Along with me are my co-hosts, Gomer, known as. Lux Jigala, Pugsley, yeah. and, and, hey. the, and the Rosen Hacker who turned nine, uh, 18 today. 18. So ha- happy hey. birthday, Rosen Hacker! Thank you. And once again, I apologize for nothing. Uh, not your <laughs> Yay. And special thanks for the guest of awesome known as Jillian Jones. Thanks. I always have a blast with hey. you guys. Seriously. And uh, without further ado, I'll say one last phrase. <clears throat> Alpha Mike Foxtrot. Okay. Arrest me for Alpha. Arrest me for Alpha. Yeah, if you... Yeah, you have to go watch the uh, the A-Team movie to find that reference. Oh, yeah, that's all right. You got homework. <laughs> you have homework. Go do it. Or just type it on a line and you'll, you'll get the answer of what that means. Yeah. Prepare to, or be sure to drink your Ovaltine from a commercial <laughs> son of a bitch. That's what I what? is. I'm going to wait, I'm going to decode the message and that's what it's going to mean. Christmas story? <laughs> and... No, everybody has. I'm old. Drink your Ovaltine, blessed by the hands of God, Zeus, and Mamorous. Two thousand dollars. There you go. Two thousand dollar opal team. <laughs> wow. Or yes. you can get an inhaler form. <laughs> yes. There. Next thing you need to do tang. Have like tang inhalers. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that would be, some of those would be nice to have like on the road and shit. Instead of having to like just reach over, grab a drink, and then tip it up and run the risk of actually, you know, missing something on the road, you know, just have the inhaler right there. Or just get a really long, twisty, crazy straw. That could work too. That could work. You. Everything tastes better with a twisty straw, except for beer. I hear it foams yes. up or something. Aww. I never tried it. I just have to try it sometime. Yeah. Do I really want to put a crazy straw in my beloved lambic? Mm. <laughs> in your what? All I heard was lamb dick. Lambic. You know, lambic. Do I want to put a twisty straw in the beloved lambic? Mm. What's lambic? I haven't heard of that. It is a Belgian beer. Ah. Oh, I'm uh, drinking. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I I typically get like uh, the fruit flavored ones. I think they have them in unfruit flavored, but the ones we find over here are fruit flavored. Uh, I like. I prefer the apple personally. They have apple, uh, black cherry, raspberry. I believe they also have peach. <laughs> uh, My friend you. says that guys okay. drinking like fruity drinks is like not proper. <laughs> I don't give a damn what's proper oh, or not. It's, it's not damn. like you're drinking it out of a girly like glass with an umbrella and little thingies. Like that. That only thing that makes it girly. I'm drinking a drink like through this thing. Like I grabbed the drink and it's called Balls. B A W L S. And it's very tasty. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yep. And- and uh, unfortunately, the is awesome. Yes. Unfortunately, 
Like, I was unable to deliver the balls because I was busy doing oh. other things. So no balls, no Gomer balls for anybody else. 